Let me take you back to 2002. Online gaming for consoles was just starting to emerge. You had the PS2 network adapter and you had Xbox Live. Remember stupid ass Dark, Dark Master? Master? I must have been like 12 years old when I got my Xbox. I got Return to Castle Wolfenstein. I got that old school headset and I get in there on Xbox Live and I'm like, Hey guys, let's go win the game, dude! And just a wave of angry dudes just descend on me. Like, shut the fuck up, you little gay ass little fucking six year old little bitch! Shut up, man! I'm just sitting there with a big ass smile on my face. Like, this is amazing. And I loved, I loved Xbox Live as a kid. Playing Counter Strike, Mech Assault, Halo 2, Burnout 3, DOA. I remember putting the stupid voice mask down and whack to sound like a robot. It was a magical place where you could call some black dude in his 30s a pee pee head. Dude, they can hear me and I can hear them. That's the coolest thing about Xbox Live, the voice. And you would just make friends with the most unlikely people that you would never meet in a hundred years in real life. And I've met some of my oldest friends on Xbox Live. You know, some of the funniest, most genuine people of all time. You know, maybe charging 50 bucks back in 2002 when the consumer didn't know anything about that. You know, it was just coming out. But it's 2015 now. You know, things change. We know now that it doesn't cost shit to play games online. We know you don't spend any money on the servers or do any upkeep at all. Xbox Live is essentially Microsoft taking money for doing absolutely nothing. No other consoles were charging you money to play their games online, and yet Xbox still did it the worst out of all three of them. The Gears of War, you guys remember this game was so inconsistent and laggy and the host would always just clean house in that game. And and then over here you have PS3 with Resistance 2, completely free to play online, and you have 60 players in a match, and it, it just worked beautifully. And that, that was probably the moment where I was like, okay, why are they still charging me for Xbox Live? But Sony saw that, you know, you could just get money for free, so they said, fuck it. They pulled a complete 180, and now they charge you money to play PS4 online. So thank you, Microsoft. Thank you for inspiring your competitors to sink to your level. The original white Xbox 360 was a terrible piece of hardware. You know, back in 2009, it was reported that 54% of them had broke down, and that number has probably gone way up since then. I remember I got the red ring uh, back when Blue Dragon came out. I was so sad because that was pretty much the only thing I was doing was playing Xbox every day, and a shitload of 360s were getting red ringed, so Microsoft responded with this fake-ass repair policy to save face, claiming that they would extend warranties on older units to fix the red rings so what you had to do is you had to call support they would ship you a box in like four weeks you had to put your xbox in there ship it back to microsoft and then a month later they sent you your xbox back and it was still broken and <laughs> It was such a shit show. And I did this six times. Six times. I sent it back to Microsoft and they sent it back broken every time. And on my seventh attempt, the guy on phone support tells me, Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You're no longer covered by the warranty. So yeah, Microsoft's actual response to every 360 breaking down was, Hey, buy this new black Xbox 360. This one actually works. Windows Live is the single worst interface ever introduced in the history of PC gaming. It was designed as a sick practical joke by the Nazis to troll gamers. Now for this one I gotta take you back a couple years. My YouTube channel was just starting to do good. I was making some decent money off my videos. So like a complete fucking idiot I signed a year long lease for this really expensive apartment. And then the month I move in, YouTube ads start paying 40% of what they were previously paying. Not to mention, you know, I had Machinima taking a huge cut of that money. Sign here, please. Welcome to Machinima. Ah! So during that whole year, I was just super stressed out trying to make as many videos as I could to make enough money to live off of. 
and uh, I was putting out, you know, eight to nine videos a month. So pretty much just back to back every day, every hour working on videos. And I was just looking for any opportunity to make some extra money to pay this stupid, enormous rent. And Microsoft comes in with this deal. They say, oh, okay, we'll pay two months rent if you make four videos for our new indie game that we're putting out. So I email them. I say, okay, I'll do it. Uh, what are the guidelines? And they respond, oh, just, just do whatever you want. So I make this. Oh, no. These people must have beat this whole boring ass game. And within two hours, Microsoft takes down the video, they cancel the deal with me, and they don't even pay me for that first video. Now this is the knockout punch. This is where Microsoft sums their entire purpose as a company into one single moment. Valve was releasing a whole new set of maps for Left 4 Dead for free. They were going to give you all the new maps for free. Microsoft saw this and told them no, you can't do that. Because they didn't like the precedent Valve was setting with the free DLC. And they didn't want other companies following in Valve's example. So. You had the maps for free day one on PC, and then three weeks later, you had them for $20 on Xbox. You have to, <laughs> you have to ask yourself, what kind of human being would perpetrate such terrible, evil acts upon the gaming community? You know, unless they weren't people at all. Think about it. Xbox Live, the faulty hardware, Windows 8, $13 billion worth of sand. Microsoft is run by ants. It's run by ants. DreamWorks, you guys know DreamWorks, right? Shrek, Madagascar, How to Train Your Dragon. DreamWorks was actually founded by Microsoft's own Paul Allen. That, do you guys recall what was DreamWorks' first movie they put out? Oh, wh what was that? It was, it was ants. It was ants, ladies and gentlemen. It was fucking ants. I rest my case.